Hey everybody, Jig and Jerry here. Well, it is the middle of March, and through this week or so, we are going to concentrate on sheephead, sheephead, sheephead. The sheephead seems to be the big in thing right now over here at the Mount Pleasant Pier. Uh, everybody's interested in trying to catch those tedious fish. So, I'm going to show you others and myself uh, catching sheephead. And the big question is, are there still big sheephead here? Well, I guess you'll find out in this episode. But anyway, we better get started before this egret catches them all. Let's rock! <laughs> What's up? It's <laughs> cheap head! <laughs> small sheep head out there. Low tide. Little small guys in. Had a big one on a little while ago. He got off. I'm gonna toss him back and see if we can get some more. <laughs> Thank you, Jerry. <laughs> Thank you, you're the one catching them. I need a net. You got it. You got him. Go dark. Get him in there. Good job. What a blast so far. Anyway, you know, while we're fishing out here, some of us regulars uh, look around and you see a lot of families and a lot of children walking up while you're fishing. And some of them just have a, a tremendous look of curiosity on their face. So I just wanted to show you a couple of clips of uh, how some of the children react when you interact with them, showing them some of these fish. Uh, Check this out. They're awesome. Hey everybody, Jig and Jerry, Mount Pleasant Pier. Got Darcy Hill here, and uh, she's out here today and she brought some fishing reels to test out here at the Mount Pleasant Pier. And of course, this time of year, we're gonna test them, of course, sheephead. So uh, there are some trout coming up though. I ran into some, so uh, tell us a little bit about your reels here, Darcy. These are exclusively for sale at eposidon.com. These are Cast King reels here. I've got a Cast King Blade 3000. Gear ratio is 5 to 1 to 1. We've got um, 10 to 1 ball bearings. Right? 10 to 1? Yep. That's a good bearing ratio. Yep. Um, Blade 3000, very lightweight. 
again, very affordable also. And Jerry here has got our Orca 3000. This is a really awesome reel. It's a monster. We can't wait to get into some sheephead and show you how much of a monster it really is. But it's got 12 plus 1 ball bearings. It's really great. The gear ratio is 5 to 2 to 1. And this thing will tear some sheephead up. I think so. I asked Darcy to bring this one out because this one also has a whole metal body. Uh, it's geared more towards this heavier saltwater action. I was looking at the reviews on it myself and she was nice enough to bring it out. So we're going to give it a test. The drag system feels pretty good. We're going to get some of their line this on is, there. This is how we all started actually. Poseidon started making braided fishing line and now we are venturing into reels, poles, all sorts of different things. Soft plastics. So check us out for some really great prices and some really, really great products. Well, that's about it. So the next episode you'll see is hopefully us tearing up some sheep head on these and see if this will uh, hold up to what we're doing. And I think it will. Look at that. Look at that. This one's already spooled up and ready to go, so we just need some fish now. I can definitely whip some eggs with it. All right, we'll catch y'all later. See Thanks, ya. Darcy. Yep. All right, let's test this other fishing reel. Looks like the orca's working pretty good. My old flight. Tell you what, I've worked with this orca fishing reel here and tested it and uh, hooked a couple of big ones, broke off on structure. But other than that, overall, uh, quality versus price, I'm really impressed. I consider it a fantastic, affordable reel uh, for the price. 13 stainless steel ball barons, uh, solid metal construction. It's uh, fantastic. So I'll tell you what, if you're interested in uh, finding out a little bit more about this fishing reel, how about you just let me know? Go ahead and send me a little message, whatever you want to do uh, if you're interested. This is more for the uh, consumer out there who wants something affordable. I'm just trying it out because I'm one of those myself. So anyway, that's about it. I'm going to get into more. And the big question here is the big sheephead. Uh, I'm going to show you were their big sheephead caught um, this week. Are they still out there? Well, let's find out because 
Omega West thinks so. Omega here just landed him a sweet eight pound, four ounce sheephead. That's right, sheephead out here at the Mount Pleasant Pier. And he was ecstatic. Jake and Jerry, you know it, Mount Pleasant Pier out here hanging out. Look, big question. It is March. Water's starting to warm up, it's 52 degrees. Are there spotted sea trout coming in? Yes. yes. Thank God. Artificials now. Now I'm sure our mud middles will do great too, but for now. <laughs> Make a sandwich. <laughs> That's right, a sandwich. We'll catch y'all later if we get into some more. It's all about the fish, about the fish. It's all about the fish, no trouble. Trout are in there. He's fighting back. That was fun, I had a blast. I enjoyed fishing with everybody out here, getting into some fantastic fish, some good looking fish, and seeing some big ones along the way. Anyway, if you haven't yet, and you enjoy the show, look down, there's a subscribe button. It only lets you know when I have more shows available. Until then, like I always say, good luck out there. Have fun fishing. See y'all next time, take care. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. Largemouth bass episodes coming up at James Allen County Park here on the Fishing with Jig and Jerry show. Keep your eye out, guys. Later.